first thing to consider when connecting with others is natural behavioral style, or some might say personality or temperament. An understanding of your natural behavioral style, including your strengths, your struggles, provides the self-awareness you need to manage your interactions with others. Likewise, understanding the natural strengths, struggles, and communication preferences of others gives you others' awareness, enabling you to connect with each individual in the most effective manner. For example, if you're a reserved, introverted person, meaning you don't naturally reach out to engage with others, then you're going to have to stretch, most likely even push yourself to make meaningful connections. Whereas if you're an outgoing extrovert, you may need to monitor and manage your interactions to make sure you're not over the top with too many stories, too much humor, and too much emotion for the setting. Now, overlay your style with that of the individuals around you. If you're dealing with a reserved person, then you should know that they don't like too much emotion or too much interaction, especially when they're trying to do their work. They like to focus and work uninterrupted. And with an outgoing person, you know they will need more interaction, more affirmation, and more connection with you than their reserved counterparts. They love to have your attention. We've used reserved and their opposites, the outgoing folks, and this type of analysis can be applied to several other factors of natural behavior. Just to make the point, consider the take charge folks who like to be in control. They don't like to be told what to do, so it's better to give them options and let them choose a course wherever possible. And of course, their opposites, the cooperative folks, they're usually very happy for someone else to set the agenda as long as it's a friendly environment. So here's the bottom line. Before you connect, take time to consider who you are and how you naturally operate, and then do the same for those whom you're trying to lead or influence. If you're a highly results-oriented person, this all may sound like a waste of time and too soft and fluffy. But if you will do it, you will be amazed how much more effective you can be when you take personality and human behavior into consideration when you're leading and managing people. After all, we're not trying to influence robots or computers, we're trying to work with people who have egos, emotions, and unique and different traits deeply ingrained in their DNA behaviors. So remember, be aware of your natural behavioral style, yours and others for the most effective communication in your relationship. This type of self-awareness and others' awareness will take you a long way as a leader. <music>